Okay, welcome back everybody. A bit more everybody's golf. Massimo is dead. Long live Massimo. Um, so we, we beat him in the last game. Um, that leaves me two more to get um, to clear out the gallery. Um, it's taken a while, but it was satisfying beating him. So we're going to play Imperial Garden, the inward nine, uh, small cups, weak wind, regular tees. Uh, we've managed to find one Canon Ketchy um, to go into the gallery. Um, again, we're going to stay with the grass cutter ball um, and custom and clubs. And we got Mr. Suzuki as our caddy. And we're going to see if we can knock this guy over. And I'll just leave us one to go. Uh, it just feels like a bit of an epic quest. I've kind of taken a few days off from everybody's golf as well. A bit of life stuff, things to do. Um, and also, I just wanted to play some other games. Um, Massimo was kind of emotionally draining, shall we say. I was just getting really frustrated at making those mistakes on the holes and beating him. I kind of thought, right, we need to get our energy back here. Two more to go. So we're back. We're going to try and close this gallery out. I mean, we could do it in this game or the next game, but, you know, let's let's see how we go. And some of it's down to kind of which courses we get and, and, and what sort of conditions. Um, but we're going to take the same approach. We're going to try fairways and greens. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna try and avoid those big big mistakes. <sighs> yeah, let's see how that goes, eh? Okay, so Imperial Garden. Um, again, we've got more than enough length for this course, and this is all about course management, for want of a better term, about making sure we put the ball in a in a good position. Um, and with teeny cups as well, it, it's absolutely good lord. Um, it's absolutely vital you get your positioning right because, you know, 15, 20 foot putts are incredible. That was just blind luck there, ladies and gentlemen, blind luck. Um, 15, 20 foot putts are incredibly difficult. You know, you want to be in, you know, six feet, 10 feet away. Um, right, so, decent approach. Not a lot of green in front, so if we pitch on that slope in front, it's going to kill it. Um, so we're going to pitch it to the right. It's flat, it's gonna kind of naturally go right, but the wind should bring it back. Um, and just go a little, that's far too hard. But let's see what happens there. Bit of backspin on it. Okay, okay, that's, well, yeah, I thought that was far too far on, but it turns out it's all right. It's a six footer, so as we said, with teeny cups, you know, six foot's about, you know, the place you'd expect to, to get them from. You know, at 10 foot, it's getting difficult. And at 20 foot, you know, you need you need a really flat green. Oh, his left edge didn't break at all. It's got ourselves a birdie. Good start. Good start. It's a second out over those lock gates. Uh, again, you know, this is all about just getting a good a good placement. Uh, maybe about there, I think. And we might just take it left to right. That's a nice shot. Yeah. Oh, nice Super shot. that pitches. With a bit of luck, we've taken that bunker out of play here. Yeah, it's okay, the, the slope will help us there. So that's a good position. Leaves us 144, 145 to go. And there's a big pot bunker there that we definitely want to avoid, but luckily the pin's out of the way. So we probably want to go there. Let's, let's try about there. And let's play it past and try and stop it. Wind will bring it back. Pitched on the green. I actually don't mind being out in the back a little bit there. Okay, 24. This is going to be a tricky putt. But it's for an eagle. So, so it's going to break a little bit left to start. And then it's going to come back to the right. And it's uphill, so it needs to be firm. Okay. See how that one does. Yeah, it was slightly too hard and the line was, was not good. I just kind of borrowed too much. With a bit of luck, we've left ourselves a makeable birdie. Yeah, okay. I'll take the birdie. I'll take the birdie. So two birdies, two holes. Puts us in a in a good position. Hole twelve. It's a par four. So our third hole. Again, and this is the one where you can play the water skip. And I think if you see me play this this course a few times, 
there's also the out over here which is what I might take just because you know I've had a few issues with that water skip if we're entirely honest um, so let's just get it up there and stop it oh that's you know that's not good where am I there am I too far left no okay Phew. phew that's okay and the issue with the skip of course is you catch the land you'll go off that little peninsula and into the water so and as you see you can make a mistake over over here and still still give yourself a decent a decent approach shot so again not a lot of green to work with at the front so we're gonna have to pitch past and come back if we can a little bit of wind a little bit of uphill so let's try and get it past and kill it didn't quite get the backspin I wanted line should be okay yeah, line's not bad. Okay, so we got a we got a ten footer. A little bit of break. I over borrowed last time, so let's maybe go a cut right. And it's flat. And let's see what happens. Yeah, that's okay. Went in my section. So that's three verdies to start. No big mistakes. Okay, to be three under. Yeah, not a fan of this one. Again, really tight fairway. No room for error. No real out either either side. So this is either, and what I've done before is, is kind of choked up, gone down to the three wood, um, and just try to get it on there, just because I've got a bit of room for a mistake, if you see what I mean. Um, we might try that strategy again. Again, with the teeny cups, you know, being a bit closer, getting into an approach mode, you know, it's probably better for getting an eagle here or, or a birdie but you know actually I'll take the birdie so at least we have about 120 plenty of green to work with a bit of a headwind and it's uphill so have I got enough club there I might need a little bit more club there you go Put the backspin on let's see what this one does so it's a little bit left a little bit long but again I'm not too fast I just left a 20 footer for the birdie. Okay. So this is quite a way, so let's maybe go. It's kind of four cups, right? And we'll hit it spot on, because I don't mind if it goes past a bit, because obviously we'll be downhill. Oh, that's a great line. Yeah. yeah. I like that. That's another birdie. That takes us to four under. Good. We're on, we're on a good pace. Okay, so a par three. So again, par threes are just all about just getting it close to the pin, giving yourself the birdie chance. So again, I've probably not got enough club there. But three iron, so it's going to come in quite flat, and that's a nice little uphill bit of a approach to the green there. So what we can probably try and do is pitch it up there and try and stop it. That's nice. Let's just see. The question is, is the line right? No, line was not right. Line was not right. Now again, lesson learned from previously. Let's just let's just get on the green here. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna pitch right. Let's just get it out. Oh. Yeah. So we've duffed it. However, that's now I can now get at the pit. So not a great shot, but. At least it's not plugged now, and it gives me a gives me a realistic chance to get it out. Particularly, oh, if I don't do that. Okay, we're now in mistake territory, aren't we? Yeah. Don't take your eye off the gauge. Okay, so we get another go at that. So we're going to drop some shots here. And this is what we talked about: just trying to avoid these mistakes. Okay. So we're going to drop three shots here. In fact, we may even drop four shots because this is a tough part. Sloping uphill. And I think I've overborrowed there. No? Okay. Shh. So we dropped three. Um, and the failure was the line on the approach there. We, we really needed to get that in a, in a better spot. Um, it takes me up to one under. Ah. 
It's a par four. Now again, this is another one with plenty of sand on it. And this is this is really all about where you pitch it. So we might go for that. And just back off it. Let's see if we can get it on the green stuff. Oh, nice shot. Suzuki likes it. I'm oof, oof. That was inches away from being um, very dusty. Very sandy indeed. Okay, I'll take that. So we got 100 to go. Again, we've got a little bit of green to work with. It's uphill. Have I got enough club on? Oh, it's a bit more club. Let's get it on and stop it. The line's not really that good. But it's on. Well, it's off. Okay. So I need to get this pitch close. That's not that's not good. It's not good. The question is how close are we? Okay. So we've got seven foot for a for a par. I might break. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll take me with us. So par, okay. Great, but you know. We'll take it, we'll take it. It's not irrevocable it's at this point. Five. So we can par five, plenty of opportunity here. Now this green has got my favourite little skip on it. So a bit of a headwind. I might just drift it right to left as well. Oh sorry, left to right even. And the theory is we put it on that little bit of asphalt. We get a we get a high bounce. Which sort of kills it, but it gets us onto there. That's okay. Position A. And the issue here is now the second. So you can just try and drive it out the back, but you, you're just going to end up somewhere random. So the other option is that you, you drop it short. You lay up and give yourself a, a chance at the approach here, which is, I think, what we're going to do. So 182, so we don't need to be overly aggressive. We just want to manage it. If it stays on, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So, leaves us about 67 to go. It's uphill. It's a tailwind. So this is all about stopping it. But I think overall... You know, rather than randomly ended up somewhere on the outside, you, know, you at least get into a, a reasonable position of the green. So we've got a 17 footer. It actually doesn't break much. It breaks a little bit. So this is just about the pace. It gives us a gives us a birdie chance. Yeah, take it. I'll take it. So again, there's a bit of course management rather than rather than anything, you know, overly aggressive. We could have kind of gone for that and, and you know, you might have gone in the green, but you might have ended up on the rough. Gives you a difficult approach. It's just one of those judgment calls. So again, another par three. A bit of a tailwind. Again, this is about stopping the ball, really. So we can give it full beans. Oof, we'll see what happens there. Now if I pitch on the near side. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Length ended up good, line was a bit off. So we've got a six footer. Relatively flat, so let's go left edge. Just a little bit firm because it's a little bit up. And with a bit of luck. Yeah, it just drops it. So. Okay. So we're back to three under. Which is where before before we had that. In fact we were four under, weren't we? So, where are we? And more importantly, where's my where's my friend? My friend is four over. And I'm three under, so we've got seven shots. Might get him in our gallery. So the 18th, let's not do anything rash. Let's just manage our position. And again, I've not really used many power shots here. So let's just go for that, that little ridge there. And we'll just stop it. We don't need the length. We've got plenty of length in the clubs. This is about getting on the fairway. Fairways and greens. And that's a cow that. Probably gonna have a bit of an uphill lie. So 156. Again, lots of green to work with, lots of green to work with. So it's uphill. I'll give it a bit more club. 
because we definitely want to clear that bunker. Let's see how that does. Suzuki likes it. I think I like it. Good, good. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. So, a little bit over six foot. A little bit of break. It's probably outside the left edge. And we'll go 50%. Let's see how that one plays. Yeah. So that's not that's not bad. It's not perfect, obviously. We, we lost the three shots there. Which would have equaled our seven under. So four under to win. We get our guy in the gallery. Overall, yeah, okay, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. It'll be interesting to see what that does to our um, our golf level. Whether I whether I level up there. Oh, so my best is seven under, which is fine. And again, see, our, our longest drive was down because we were we were trying to manage the course there. We weren't interested in just smacking it. And what does it do to our golf level? No. Okay, but we did get our gallery member, so we got our our man down the bottom there with his big his big lumberjack shirt. One ninety nine out of two hundred. So um, join me next time, and we're going to see if we can we can close this gallery down. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. See you soon.